Part Bomb Effectivity helps companies manage overloaded or 150% bills of materials for product families by specifying valid usage conditions for parts. The configurable 150% bill of materials can then be filtered and resolved into specific 100% configurations by providing effectivity criteria. Starting in Eris Innovator version 12, effectivity management on bills of materials is available. Most common effectivity variables, like model, unit, and date, are provided out of the box. Let's see how effectivity works in Eris Innovator. With the necessary permissions in Eris Innovator, you can manage effectivity on any level of the structure, against a single component, or against a complex multi-level assembly. You'll see assigned effectivity conditions listed in the effectivity column in the BOM Structure Relationship tab. To view them in more detail, right-click and open the split pane view. The expression is saying that this version of the nozzle only applies to the replicator model. Suppose you wanted to edit this because you knew that the nozzle was also used in certain units of the Replicator 2 model. Right-click this effectivity condition to edit it. The effectivity editor lets you write valid effectivity expressions by offering the next logical option in your expression. In this example, with model selected, the possible values in the system for model are offered here, so we'll select Replicator 2. And with a valid selection for model, continue typing to see the next logical parts of the expression, and or or, to add another effectivity variable, like unit or date. You can use all three together. Here we'll select unit, and choose a starting unit to see the next logical step in the expression. We'll assign the range of units for Replicator 2 that this nozzle applies to. We'll repeat that with the second nozzle, which only applies to Replicator 2 beginning after the end unit for the first nozzle. The same process applies. Right-click to view the expression, right-click to edit it, and use the helpful expression editor to complete a valid expression. Let's save our work. Now we can filter on the effectivity conditions we just set. This Set Effectivity Criteria button in the BOM Structure tab lets you filter down the 150% BOM we just created. You'll recall that it had two parts, each applicable to the same place in the bill of materials, just used on a different model and set of unit numbers. We'll go ahead and filter that down to just a 100% BOM. Choose Set Effectivity Criteria and choose one of the models and a specific unit number. Just the parts that apply to that model and unit combination will remain. To see the partially resolved BOM, only choose the model that has two overlapping parts depending on which set of units is selected. Both parts will remain. Eris Innovator makes it easy to author and edit valid effectivity expressions and to filter down bill of material structures based on effectivity criteria, such as exact units, models, or dates. You can easily create additional effectivity variables based on your business needs and configure and customize to apply effectivity on other relationships beyond the part-bomb relationship.